What do we have here? Season 7 Legend Defenses for the tournament. Okay, so all servers, timestamps down in the description for all different servers. So if you want to just check your server out. But I'm going to go through all the servers. Look at the defenses they used in Season 7 Siege Tournament from all of them and to try to see if there is a pattern. Here we are, my own server, Europe server, Aftermath Legends versus Aftermath EU. This is very interesting because it's a rematch from last season and it's been very competitive and these are like same guild family. So <laughs> let's have a look into their defenses. What are they running? Then we move on to Asia and then like Korea, China, Japan, and then we'll finish off with Global Aftermath Legends versus Aftermath EU. Um, let's go. Let's look into it. So I pre-recorded this because it was Saturday night for me. What do we got? Kumin, Bastard, Odin. All right. That's from Aftermath EU. Anu, Orion, Kinky. And then Kumin, Bastard, Odin. New Orion Kinky, Harmonia, Vigor. Mm. I wonder if we're gonna find the same pattern on Europe with the other servers. Kumin Bastard Odin. Again. Oh my god, now that's legends. But they're running the same thing. They're running the same thing. And they all renamed an Aftermath Legends because they got a bunch of twins, so they can't keep track of which twin is which. <laughs> and they got all the same logo. Same name, and yeah, I think it was mainly the Twins players that I'm um, renamed. And we'll just fast forward a little bit here to see what else they had on their defenses. Again, Kumil Bastard Odin. And the Twins. Sierra Orion Perna, but that's all the way at the back. And then Sierra Orion Perna, oh, Kumil Bastard Odin. I only have one Odin. How many Odin does these people have? And then again, Anu Orion Kinky. Interesting. And <laughs> Kumin Orion, Kumin Bastard. Very, very interesting. And then let's fast forward a little bit more. And they're running Sierra Orion Perna as well. I think that's backline again. And then the twins again. I think we had a look at these. I think I'll just. Oh, this is checking it while I was like live. Sierra Orion Perna on Aftermath EU as well in the back line. Aga Better Fuki. Oh, oh. And the siege is over. Who won? Aftermath Legends won. They beat Aftermath EU. It was very, very close. It was very, very close. And then it's their first time getting Legends. So yeah, very interesting. First time getting Legends. Juice to them. It keeps it keeps it alive because there was like a season there where no one would compete against Aftermath EU and then Light Herb came and then Legends came and now there is a fight for first, you know, when there was no fight for first before when after Squad Zero like a little bit fell off and there was no one else. And then Light Herb came, put up a challenge, Legends came and put up a challenge, even Aftermath EU and Light Herb was very, very close, it was actually closer than this siege and this siege was... Also, like 20k and 19,400 or something. But yeah, that's it on the Europe server. Let's go to Asia and then finish up global last at the end. Timestamps in the description. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, guys. We have Asia boss versus go. Go back in the finals. Fighting boss. Have, th have these guys been here before? Because, um... Because... Got lost last season, right? And I haven't think I've seen boss in finals before because I've done these kind of videos before. But anyways, let's see if we find anything new on these finals defenses or is it going to be repeated the same kind of things. Watch match. Let it go. Let it go. I think we can see most, mostly everything right now. Let's start from Goat's backside. Not from the backside, but yeah. Harmonia, Fuki, Gregor. I think that's very interesting. And I think that is very strong. Do we have any defense swings? We'll have a look at everyone's um, attacks and stuff like that. But this is underway for the last two hours. So it's still very fresh. Odin, Draco, Theo. All right. Hello. 
I remember Colossal when I was in when doing um Siege and Crazy account. Sierra Iron Penna? I don't know, because I slayed the few Sierra Iron Penna's not long ago, like a couple of sieges ago. Round 3, was it for us? Round 4? Round 3. Okay, this... I haven't experienced this yet, my first hand myself. But this is a defense that I have. Nana, Joe Gun, Theo. And what else do we have? Tiang Lang, Annabelle, Savannah. Very interesting, very strong. I think I've fought that before in the past. We got Merlong, Molly, Savannah, very average, I would say, very average. And then uh, defense lead with the Triana MS and the twins. Of course, the twins can be built many different ways. That one, that's what makes them very, very strong. And then let's look at boss. Boss, do you have something new? We have Theo, Josephine, not Josephine, Ophelia, Riley. This could be interesting, especially if like Josephine's like crazy ruined. And crazy procs, she will have that threat state on. You got Riley that's already annoying, and then you got a Theo that has a four turn. I think that's good. I think that's good. <clears throat> as I say, as we go on, it's, I think it's good. We have Antares, but we don't have a speed lead. So <clears throat> these are probably Violent Orions. I don't know what to think of this. Does it have any wins? Don't know what to think of this, but Antares is RNG, so they're just hoping for it to proc after first turn. And then even if it does, if you if your first turn that took was immunity, like Fran or Lulu, how much damage is it gonna do through it? You know? But I think that's that's okay. It's decent. Decent. Nana, Chang Pang, Masha, that's also actually pretty good. There's not much that can counter too much of that. Not after once or twice. Merlong, Iris, and Theo. We've seen that before. I think that has good potential. And this is an LD one, kind of. Sierra, Gianna, Masha, Merlong, Fuki. Yep, just a mixture. That's okay -ish, right? It's good. LD ones are pretty good sometimes. You can't see that. It's going to open very soon. Nana, Juno, and is it Dominic? What a guess. Is this guy good, Dominic? I haven't heard too much about Dominic, but is Dominic good? I don't have one. I have a fire one. Should I build the fire one? Let me know if I should build the fire one. We've got Antares again. They brought Antares, man. Uh, Fat Adi from Europe did that once when they reached our top 20. And then <clears throat> we've got Merlong, Theo. Who one would you prefer? Merlong, Iris, Theo or Merlong, Molly, Theo? I think the glancing helps it to survive a little bit longer, but Iris would have more... It will make the defense a little bit more stronger, right? Melong, Iris, Theo is my choice. I think Molly version is alright because Molly can get a little toxic. And they're probably on destroy. Yeah. And let's have a look at the battle status. Does anyone have any losses? This guy. Two losses. This guy, one loss. Two losses, okay. This guy, three losses. I would read his name. Gian Onopak has zero losses. Hot... I don't know, I can't read that now. Hohonut sounds like speaking Arabic. There's a few losses on boss's side. Glad to see no one's hiding losses there. And just have a look at goat's side. Okay, they have a little bit less losses so far as I can see from here. Okay, there's a couple right there. Okay, so far it looks like boss has i don't know not boss goat but i don't know the turtle i don't know the turtle okay but yeah alrighty, alrighty. how are you guys countering odin's i think that's that's good enough can we just have a quick look at the beginning was there anything interesting sylvia praha sierra kinky we want to make sure we cover most bases and this is front line triana and the twins coming from goat Merlong, Molly, Savannah. Yeah, why wait for towers when I can just do this? Right, these guys. People that have twins, I've been changing names to, <laughs> to, to something familiar so people get confused. On the twin builds, boss, what do we got? This one, I think, yeah, Mo Mo Molly or Iris variety is good. These guys just gave them straight up RNG. This could be good. This could be good. Vantaris would be better than RTA, right? Because... The more turns the Emni has, the ch better chances he's passive proc. So there's only three on Siege and four in RTA. Okay. Interesting. Pretty good. 
Good luck to both. Um, that's it. Let's move on to the other Asian countries. China. Hello, China. Let's watch these two in the finals. This is the same, same, same time as the Asia server. Yeah, same time. China's at the same time. All right, let's quickly, you know what? Let's just go straight to the battle record. Actually, before we do, let's have a look at these sides. Look at, look at the swords, wins and losses. Obviously, I'm not going to count every single one of them. But we're just going to see if there's a lot of losses or a lot of wins and a lot of... Oh, this guy, bro. It's getting kicked. Kicked like I got kicked in the past. This guy getting kicked as well. Okay. I would say a couple of people have more losses on that side. Um, and then battle record. We want to go straight to the start. I want to see what they showed at the start. All right. This... This Chinese guild versus this Chinese guild. Ooh, double. This Odin's gonna be stacked 24-7. Uh, Affilia, Basta, Odin. That's the winning guild, right, from the last season? And the twins. And then LD Tower. And then the twins. Spamming the twins. Are these... Uh, no, they're not similar names. You can see they've got different logos. And then the five, ten stacked Odin. And then the other Chinese guilds, okay. Draco leads with the HP, okay. I don't know, that's a little unusual. I'm gonna call it and say the other guild wins now, all right? And then they had a place in this guild too, oh, yeah, fair enough. And then you got the twins on this side. An LD one with the Draco and Odin. Draco, Odin again with a mixture. Let's move. Can we have a stop? Soon. Okay, let's stop here. Let's have a look over the back. New Gong Wu, Sierra, Orion. Oh, just, it's just a mixture. Just a mixture. You can't run too much mixtures. I think that's the main one. We've got the back line here. We've got more twins. Twins! Season 7. And before there were seasons, there were still twins. And no, wait. It's always been seasons while the siege has been going on, right? Or has it not? I can't remember. What's... Was Siege introduced? Can't really see the back line. They haven't reached it. Was Siege, uh, Siege tournaments introduced after Siege? It would have been, right? Alright, but the Twins have been here since day one. Since day one. Okay, so I think Korea is next. Let's go to it. The Motherland of Summoner's War, Korea. I'm hoping this is Korea server. I don't know Korean area. I've done this before where I've said it was the wrong Asia server name, okay? But Korea server, and I love how short this video is because it's the finals. You only get to see defenses from two top guilds fighting that out in the finals. We've got Troublemaker versus this guild. I think this guild was the... No, Troublemaker was the winner, but that guild has won it previously, once or twice. Okay, I think, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go, have a watch match. They're an hour ahead of Asia server, or two hours, I, I will say. And let's go have a look at the battle status with the player names, which we can't read. Anything dramatic over here? Nothing too dramatic from this side. And what do we got this side? Any losses or defense wins that are high? We're not just looking to be toxic. For people that lost, then I'm going to call them out for getting kicked. And uh, let's go right at the start. Let's have a look. Theo, Molly, Tyrannus. Okay, going to need a few Rockies there, I guess. And Iris, Orion, and Taurus. Oh my god. And Taurus makes it to the Korea server. Damn, boy. And then you got Kakana, Vigo, and Esha. Wonder how would that perform? And then you got some Nanas. And you got Iris as LDs. And then we got Defending Champ, Kakana, Louise, Molly, probably some Destroy kind of comp. And this girl can be um, on Swift as well, I guess. Or actually, Violent will be better. But yeah, don't forget, Kakana goes through shield. So even if they, she does have put up a shield, then using a Kakana top. Oh, then you got Molly to glance there. Let's not come up with offenses for this because, you know, I'm the last person that should be coming up for offenses with it. Okay, so what's going on here? These will be like 300 vias for both of them. So, and that can be unleashable. I, I would assume so. That's how you want to build, right? Okay, and then... 
can we see anything? Mm. You can see the back line here. We've got Nana, Bera, Elsha. Very interesting. You got Oliver there, Miles, John. I don't know. <laughs> and then Esha. We got Orion again. And you got an LD Tower right here. And then the Nana one we saw earlier. What we got over here from the boys. And then these guys have. Is that. But these guys, they both run in it. Asha, Orion, Vigo. Both guilds are running it. Okay, Korea, what is going on over here? What do we have? We can't see too much far in the back. Oh, we can see here. Nana, this looks much better. Elsha, Molly. Interesting to see. And then these guys have Orion, Vigor, Orion, Asha. <laughs> two, two Orions. So they have four monsters in the defense. All right, one more server. That's Japan. Let's go. Japan, hello. Let's quickly have a reminder. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yep. This excellent has won it every single season. Let's go straight to watch the match. Do we have anything new in defenses? We've seen Antares. It's, it's been crazy. We've seen Antares. We've seen Esha, Vigo, Orions. It's been a little pretty good. Alrighty. And <clears throat> battle status. How's the boys doing? Bony with the 10 10 shout out for that. Okay. 10 10 shout out. Nothing too crazy on defenses here. Nothing too crazy on losses here. That's the G boys, and we got excellent. The defending champs. We got one loss on this guy. He's getting kicked. <clears throat> and so far, only the one loss on this side. Okay. The one loss from what side? It's been a few hours that has been in. <clears throat> Let's go straight to the start. Have a look. Actually, let's look at G Boys first because Excellent has won it every single season. We won seven to last. So you got an LD Tower straight away off the bat and a mixture, a mixture of LD Tower, right? Nana, Nasha, uh, LDs again. These guys are giving them all the LDs they have. Kakano, Chilin, Triana. Hmm, did they have that in the last round that I recorded? I think they did. Right? And then a little bit. I can't, I can't call these towers. They're, they're mixed. Excellent. What did you bring? Gianna. Okay, and what is this guy's name? Gel Gel Gelni? Looks like an LD tower. Okay. Japan the way. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Aftermath EU trolled us with this when we fought him in round three. Skogul, Abigail, and Molly. Alright. So, excellent. Thinks it's good enough for them to run on their own as well. Like, run it as well. Okay, fair enough. Aftermath EU, the. Um, the trendsetters with the Lulu last couple seasons ago, right? And then again! Oh my god! Oh, lols. Okay. And a mixture of LD Tower. Can we have a look at the back lines? We saw this already, right? And then over here. Kakana chilling Triana. Did we see this? No, we didn't see this, right? This is just the LD whale. LD, well, lots of car kind of chilling from the G boys. Yeah, G boys, like as in gangsters. Like, you guys, gangsters from Japan? I don't know. Is there gangsters in Japan? Japanese gangsters, right? <laughs> Alright, just LDs. LDs. Not much LD here. Uh, sugar, cigar, 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 sugar, sugar, <laughs> cigar. Esha, Nana. Anyone test that? Is that any good? Yeah, can we see the back line right here? What, what do we got? Kakana chilling Triana. Oh, can we see that? Louise. Okay. Philia. Oh, we can't see their back line, eh? They didn't, they didn't make it. They didn't make it to the back line. How can we see their back line? We can't. We can't. We can't. Alright. And that's it for Japan. So. While I'm recording this, Global hasn't started. We will get to Global last. And we'll see how that does. Okay. Let's go. The final one. Are we going to see anything new? By the way, if you can't see, this siege has been going on for about... Uh, like 9 hours, 8 hours, and it's already over. Militias have taken the win. You can see it, but we're here to see what defenses they're running. And I'm hoping they surprise me with something different. Because Militias versus Say Swag again was pretty much the finals, and then they moved on to the finals versus Mithril. So, 
if you look over here, Hall of Fame, say swag again won it last season, but it's usually malicious. And then say swag again. So this is interesting. They're very competitive on this server as well. So let's watch the match. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Actually, you know what? First of all, let's look at the battle status. See if anyone's getting kicked. Look at all these tens. Oh my god, every single person has a 10. Okay, this guy doesn't have a 10. Okay, lots of 10s there. This guy didn't even use swords. This guy didn't even use swords. No. No, he didn't. And then you see that they 10s run out much quicker than them. And then these guys renamed. So I'm gonna guess maybe there's some MSTs there. Maybe? I don't know. So these guys didn't use swords? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um... Let's go straight to the start. Have a look at what Mithril's running and Malicious. Odin, Draco, Theo. Been seeing a lot of that. Been seeing a lot of that. Skogul, Molly, and Suki. We've seen a couple of those. Odin, Draco, and Theo. And then again, see, that's the theme from the finals. They actually keep the same defense all over most towers. The four star base and the five star base. And then there's a couple that are changed because obviously they can't have that much because they don't have all the runes. Nana, Esha, and Cigar. <laughs> I call him Cigar. And then, yeah, that's the theme. Sometimes you see a guild with just a mixture, a whole tower of like a couple of different things, you know? Unless it's LD, but you still see it every now and then. And Harmonia, Vigo, and Kinky. This could be a little annoying as well. Kinky is very, very uh, toxic. And then they kept Nana, Esha, and Cigar. I wonder if this was any good. All right, let's fast forward a little bit and see what else they had in their defenses. Again, same thing. I don't even have that cigar guy. And then the same thing over here. What about over here? See, same kind of defense. They don't have MSTs. <coughs> Odin, Draco, Kinky. Lots of Dracos, huh? Lots of Dracos. Let's fast forward so we can see the back bases. What do we got here? Sierra, Jogang, Nana. Interesting. So Sierra is the only damage dealer with the bombs, kind of. And Triana, Molly, and Suki. So it's kind of bruiserish, maybe. Maybe I don't know. I can't. I can't speak for them. I'm just gonna assume. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that's about it. We've seen it all, right? What do we got over here? LD Tower. Mm. Can I click this? I can't click that. There we go, we can click it now. We got the Twins and the Druids. The Twins and the Druids. We saw that before. Was this? We saw this as it. That's it! That's it! What was the pattern here, guys? What was the pattern? There was lots of Odins. There was some Theos. There were some Dracos. Mollies. Trianas. What else? What else was the, um, the pattern? I don't know. But anyways. Malicious won on Global. Aftermath Legends won on Europe. I don't know about the other one. Who won on Asia? Who won in China, Korea, and Japan? Write it down in the comments because I don't know. And I'm going to go switch servers to check it out. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of interesting stuff. We'll see what next season it is going to be. It's going to be Odin's or Spider or all Odin's everywhere. Get ready for Odin counters, all right? Because <laughs> I'm not ready for Odin counters. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Yalla, bye.